close preparing the course at Carnoustie for the Open Championship is no easy task. Ramit was an eventful week at the Open Championship. And the final round did not disappoint, as it was filled with drama, intrigue and ended with a worthy champion, Francesco Molinari came up with a bulletproof performance to break through for his first major. Tiger Woods did something he hadn't done in years. And what happened in Scotland this week tells us a lot about what to expect for the next big event in Europe, the Ryder Cup, we learned a lot watching the British Open this week. Here are five big takeaways, no flute those who aren't regular watchers of golf might be surprised that Molinari was able to outlast multiple major champions like Woods, Rory McIlroy and Jordan Spieth on a thrilling Sunday at the Open. But it shouldn't come as a surprise. Molinari has always had one of the more efficient swings in golf, and at age 35 something seems to have clicked. For the last several weeks, he's been playing like the best golfer in the world. Let's take a look at Molinari's last five starts before the Open. He won the European Tour's BMW PGA Championship, finished second in the Italian Open, finished 25th at the US Open, won the Quicken Loans National and finished tied for second at the John Deere Classic. Francesco Molinari of Italy holds the trophy after winning the British Open Golf Championship in Carnoustie, Scotland, Sunday, July 22, 2018. AP Photo, John Super, Photo, The Associated Press Molinari has proven his swing and mind can hold up under the ultimate pressure, he played with a surging Tiger Woods on Sunday, and still got the job done. This guy is one of the best players in the game now, a great week for Woods. There are two ways to look at Woods' this week at Carnoustie. He's a 42-year-old who just missed his best chance in years to claim his 15th major. The last time he had a share of the lead on Sunday was at the 2011 Masters. Time is running out, and he can't afford to miss those chances, but we don't see it that way. At 42, Woods has shown himself to be healthier than he's been in a decade. Need proof? Just check out that bunker shot he hit on the 10th hole Sunday, he's contended several times this year, and Carnoustie was his best chance yet. There are still some troubling signs, like Woods' propensity to make errors at the worst possible time, something he never used to do. But this is a different player in person than we saw dominate the game 20 years ago, Woods is trending in the right direction. It's not a question of if he's going to win again. It's a question of when, July 22, 2018, Carnoustie, Angus, SCT, Tiger Woods on the fourth tee during the final round of the Open Championship Golf Tournament at Carnoustie Golf Links. Mandatory credit, Steve Flynn USA Today Sports, photo, Steve Flynn, Steve Flynn USA Today Sports, when will Tiger win again, Woods clearly has some sort of mental block in majors, going back to 2009 when he squandered the final round led of the PGA Championship to Y.E. Yang, it's almost as if he wants it too much. So if Woods is going to win majors again, something he's clearly good enough to do, he'll probably have to win a few non-majors first. His T6 finish as the British Open was good enough to move him up to 50th in the world, qualifying him for the Bridgestone Invitational at Firestone, a course he's won on eight times in his career. That's a good opportunity for him, we still don't think he's ready to win a major, so we don't like his chances at the PGA Championship at Belle Reve. But soon after, the PGA Tour will come to Ridgewood Country Club in Paramus for the Northern Trust, where Woods will be eligible and presumably healthy enough to compete in the FedEx Cup playoffs for the first time since 2013. It would sure make things interesting if Woods got his first win there, projecting to Paris Francesco Molinari waves to the crowd after a birdie on the 18th hole during the final round of the 147th Open Championship at Carnoustie Golf Club in Carnoustie, Scotland. Photo, Harry Howe, Getty Images, Woods is slated to be an assistant captain for the U.S. Ryder Cup team later this year in Paris. But now, he should be a lock to play on the team. He probably won't qualify on points but he's playing too well for US. Captain Jim Furyk to pass him up as a captain's pick. Xander Shoffley should also be a lock for the team, no matter where he finishes in the points. The 
24-year-old has already won twice on the PGA Tour and dealt with all sorts of adversity Sunday to still finish tied for second. The U.S. needs to those kinds of players, the Americans will probably be heavy favorites to win, as they'll have a better team on paper. If this Open Championship proved anything, it's that it won't be easy. McElroy and Justin Rose finished tied for second, they'll both be key parts of the team. Molinari won, and is playing some of the best golf in the world. And Tommy Fleetwood was also in the mix, don't expect anything to be easy for the US. Ryder Cup team, it rarely is, watch out Jewel 22, 2018, Carnoustie, Angus, SCT, Rory McElroy during the final round of the Open Championship Golf Tournament at Carnoustie Golf Links. Mandatory credit, Steve Flynn USA Today Sports, photo, Steve Flynn USA Today Sports, despite falling short on Sunday, one of the best in the game proved he's still a force to be reckoned with. McElroy looked as confident and relaxed as he has on a golf course in a long time. It just felt like he ran out of holes. He's a streaky player, and if he's about to get hot, it could mean a very lucrative, final month of the PGA Tour season for him, email, basqueza at northjersey.com.